A Broken Arrow family did not get the welcome they'd hoped for. A few days after moving from North Dakota, $5,000 in fraudulent charges were made on their accounts. It gets worse. The incident snowballs into them losing access to their accounts completely. Two Works Fuse, Sierra Pizarro solves their problem and explains what they should have done to help police investigate. This picture of a hooded person walking through a quick trip is all one Tulsa detective has to solve Jennifer Hughesong's fraud case. <laughs> the mom of six moved to Broken Arrow with her husband in March, right before COVID-19 hit. After a few days of settling in, these pop up. 16 fraudulent transactions. Some made at Woodland Hills Mall, one at a smoke shop, and stops at two quick trips. They're dated March 18 and 19, and total $5,400. Oh, I was shocked, because I can't even leave the state without my debit card being turned off. Yet, you know, someone made that much that many transactions without even throwing up a red flag to my bank. Hugh Song's next move was to call her bank, USAA. She didn't know she'd be in for a long haul to get the issue resolved. I know, ever since then, I've been back and forth with my bank, trying to tell them that these are not our charges. After several weeks of fighting, just says your account has been locked. Tuesday, Hugh Song says USAA reps told her they've decided to close her accounts. My bank, that they no longer want to do business with me and that it would take uh, 60 days for them to give me my money back from my, all our accounts. So I reached out to USAA and by today, Hugh Song has access to her money again. But one thing she would do differently if she could go back was file a police report sooner. I thought that's what the bank did. I thought the bank was doing that for me and was trying to figure out who did this. Hugh Song says she didn't realize she had to file a police report until earlier this month. The detective on her case tells me because of the late filing, they don't have surveillance video from most of the stores involved. The recording systems can't go all the way back to March. If anyone knows who this person is, contact Detective Kayla Wiggs by email or phone. I'm Sierra Pizarro, two works for you.